just for clearing, guest blogging and other hard backlink methods basically dead by using the shield. No more money site links. Yeah, I mean, it's unnecessary. You don't need to. Um, you know, guest post, guest blogging and stuff like that can, if it's done correctly, can be extremely powerful and generate relevant traffic from a, you know, relevant audience that could be interested in your product or service. So I'm not saying don't do it. Uh, you know, if that's part of your overall strategy for drive, driving traffic and lead generation and sales and that kind of stuff, but it's not necessary, right? It's not something that you have to do because we've proven over and over and over again that we can get results using the SEO shield and spam links and just and content marketing, right? I'm just, you know, that's that's about it. All right. So, so there are so many target URLs within the SEO power shield that you don't have to do that to the money site. You can actually do a guest posting and you and put a push a link to your GMB to a GMB post to the GMB website to the drive stack to and inner page on the G site, which they all connect to the money site, but you're not hitting it directly. That's, that's why we moved like one tier out. So we leave the money site alone. It'll collect links on its own and naturally. And, and then the rest will come from the power in, in the SEO power shield and then everything associated with the SEO power shield, right? So there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying whether, whether it works or not. Like I don't guess blog. And I don't use other uh, hard, what he's calling hard backlinking methods. I, I just don't, because I don't need to. If I ever needed to, I'd probably go and test it out. Uh, heavy hitter, uh, the, the membership site is ready. We're getting, getting everything together to, to go live on that project. And that's one of the things that we'd probably test in the heavy hitter pull up to see how much more we can get. But when, like when, when, when you got enough to go to number one, I mean, how much better <laughs> number one can you get when you're already number one? Yeah. Right. Except for the fact that, like I said, guest blog or, you know, guest posts done correctly on the right sites for the right audience can generate a shit ton of relevant traffic and generate leads and or sales too, if it's done correctly. The problem is a lot of, there's a lot of SEO services out there that will sell guest posts strictly for the SEO, like the, the backlink. And that's, in my opinion, that's useless. I mean, because of the methods that we have developed that work just fine. I'm not, you know, again, to each their own. I'm not saying don't, you know, if somebody else, if, if that's their strategy, so be it. For our strategy, it doesn't make sense to build guest post links just for the link itself. Unless, but for, for the traffic and exposure and relevant audience, potentially leads and sales, um, that, then it does make sense to do that. Um, if, if, if you can do, and, and so by the way, so who can do that that well? Uh, I've only found one service that is really good at that, um, that I've used, which is Loganix. And we've talked about them in the past, but uh, Loganix, go to semanticmastery.com slash L-O-G-A-N-I-X, and it'll take you to their site. And um, they've got a, a really good service for that now. In fact, um, Adam Steele, the owner of that, has, it's L-O-G-A-N-I-X. Uh, <clears throat> Adam Steele has created a, really good service around that. In fact, it's one of their best services now. If you take a look at it, they have um, the link building right here. And they've got some really good traffic to sites there. It's, it's expensive, but it's, it's, work, it, it's worth it if, if that's part of your overall strategy. So I just, I would suggest them if you're going to look for that kind of stuff. Okay. But again, you don't need it if you got the SEO shield. <laughs> you can throw spam links at it all day long.